What's up everybody? Today on TVC Talk, we are gonna discuss the gear crutch. We all know the filmmaker where it's like, oh, if only I had that new piece of equipment, if only right. I had that one piece, that one thing, that next item, then all my problems will be solved. Then, then I'll get I, more clients. You know what or, I mean? Oh, yeah. The difference between me being a successful filmmaker and a failure is the red. But it can be as simple as, like, I need to invest, like, I'm not going to be good at shooting interviews until I spend $1,000 on lights. Not true. So what we're saying to you today is get off your gear crutch. Get off your gear crutch. Get off your gear crutch. It's not about the gear. It's not. All right, I mean the expression the best camera is the one you have on you. Yeah. That's absolutely true. Absolutely true, dude. If you're get on a gear crutch, if you think that gear makes or breaks you as a filmmaker, we're telling you today, it does not matter. Get off your gear crutch. And we got personal examples and stories, and we'll dive into one like three years ago. Eric, you remember, yeah. uh, we did the 40-hour film fest in yeah, Chicago. Yeah, Chicago, yeah. And we knew a handful of teams that were participating, and our team, it was just Eric and myself, one actress, one actress. and uh, another girl who was pseudo doing sound, kind of being a PA, moving stuff around for us as needed. Yeah. And our equipment list was one Sony A7S Mark II, two lenses, a slider, and a light that another team just, that we were friends with, let us borrow because they'd already finished wrapping their shoot. And of course, the boom mic and what that you already owned. It. Oh, right. Like, yeah, I, I had a This is all stuff mic. we already owned, yeah, except so was, for the light that we borrowed. Yeah. yeah, so it was all stuff we already owned. And we knew teams that spent $400 on rentals, fancy gear, teams of 15, 16, for a 40 hour film fest, mind you. So <laughs> comes time to turn in the project, turn in the, the final film. We turn it in, obviously, blah, blah. And one of the other teams that we knew that spent all this money, hired all these people, had all this gear to play with and have fun with, they didn't even have the project finished. They didn't finish the, the short film. All this stuff, all this gear, all this equipment, and it, when it came time to deliver, they couldn't do it. What does that tell you? It tells you that gear is not what makes you or breaks you as a filmmaker. It is not the gear that finishes the job. It is not the gear that makes the project great. Yeah. We are storytellers and creatives. Your gear is an extension of you. Ah, but at yes. the end of the day, so good. at the end of the day, it's you, your ideas, your ability to craft a narrative to, and whether that narrative means a short film or a, a talking head interview or a music video, you are the creator. We use equipment to extend our ability as filmmakers. And sure, is a red awesome? Yeah. Getting your totally. hands on an Ari Alexa, is that cool? Super cool. It's yeah. just not a necessity. So we're not here to like bash high tech here. We love it. We love it. Yeah. Nice I mean, stuff. we geek out over it for sure. Yeah, for sure. But we just think it's really important to understand that gear is not what makes you or breaks you. Yeah. It's not the next piece that'll make you a great filmmaker. It's you and your hard work, your mindset, and your ability to craft and tell a narrative. Because at the end of the day, the audience doesn't care about the camera. All right, so you might be thinking like, okay, cool, like that was the 48 hour film fest, but like that is just for fun, blah, blah, what were the stakes? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'll tell you this, Eric and I also shot a feature film five years, five years ago now. I think it was about five years yeah, ago. Yeah, five years ago, back in 2015. And our primary camera was a GH4. Yep, GH4 um, with three, uh, prime cine lenses, but they were two hundred dollar Rokinon. Yeah. Two hundred dollar Rokinon lenses uh, that we rented. We didn't even own, so they were, those were rented. Yeah, all of it was just rented. All of it was rented. And the lights we built out of PVC pipe, <laughs> Home Depot light bulbs. Yeah, and we purchased gels to get the colors we yeah, wanted like, for like cents on the dollar. The light stands, you mean, were yeah. built out of PVC pipe. Yeah. We built our own essential PVC C stands. We actually spent more money than we needed to on that because we bought spray paint to yeah. paint them black so we thought they would look more professional. <laughs> yeah, <'Cause> right. <laughs> these PVC pipe lights. When it's not like they're ever seen on camera or anything, obviously. Sure. It's like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and like yeah. that was that was what we had to work with. We made We made that work. We yeah. made the work because we had to make it work. 
budget was spent more elsewhere and it destroyed our lighting budget and we're like, well, we need to light this movie somehow. Yeah. What are we going to do? So we built, I think they cost like $30 a piece to make between the PVC pipe, the light bulbs, the coverings, yeah. and, and, and the jets. Mind you, these, so the light bulbs too were just straight up regular home light bulbs. Nothing about this setup was like film brand anything. No, no, <laughs> with no the lights at least. Nope, it was. Yeah. A I mean, we got China movie. balls off of uh, Amazon, and uh, you know we used that for like soft, super soft lighting, like diffuser. Yeah, to diffuse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So our whole lighting rig for a feature film that we shot in the backwoods of Canada for won like best cinematography once, won best feature several times. Yeah. So all shot with. A GH4, yeah. <laughs> a couple cheap lenses, and a DIY lighting kit. Yep. What I'm, we just want to emphasize that gear does not make or break you. It does not make or break your story. It is you as the storyteller. You are the key. You are the key ingredient. You are the key to your own success. The gear does not matter. Yeah. Don't lean on the gear. Lean on yourself. Lean on yourself, dude. Nice. I like that. We were doing this stuff in high school, sure. um, in our garages, in our backyards, and front yards, and everything. And uh, Caleb, even then, it was filming a feature film, and needed a dolly built. So we built a dolly out of. I'll start with the wheels, just because it's my favorite part of this whole thing. <laughs> is all you need is some roller blades. Got got an old pair of roller blades and uh, cannibalized it, and used the wheels for the dolly track. For sure, yeah, and it was just a pe giant piece of wood. The whole thing cost, I think, $60 to make. And we actually used it when we shot up in Canada, too. Yeah, so we used it in the uh, other feature film as yeah, well. Yeah, so the PVC pipe. So it's, uh, it's innovation. We are creatives. We can innovate. You can work around things. Gear helps, but it's not the be all end all. Yeah, So absolutely. don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Don't think that gear is going to make or break you. Use what you have, innovate around what you don't, and I promise you the solutions are everywhere all around you if you just take the time to look. You can make something great with what you have right now. 100%. Solid hundo. Solid hundo. That was fire, dude. Thanks, dude. That's all we have for you guys today. This has been another episode of TVC Talk. Like, subscribe, click the bell. Like I said, I don't know where it is, but click, click the ring a ding. Yeah, click the click the ring a ding. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Peace. Tight, dude. I think we got something in there.